Hey, it's Bobby. I don't have a beard anymore. Not that that matters or anything. This video is going to be comprised of three short reviews of just a couple things that have come out the past few days. Things that I've been listening to a lot and I just kind of want to get out of the way. Um, I'm going to be uploading a couple reviews very soon. I'm just in perfectionist mode and I'm trying to make them look cool and I'm trying to have this really nice layout for all of them so give me some time with that I'm not gonna say when they're going to be uploaded but when they're uploaded I'll post them around I guess so anyway the first release I want to talk about is the new mini album EP whatever you want to call it from Paradise Fears which is called Battle Scars now after hearing this I really had to go out and download everything that they've released before this because I don't know I just really fell in love with their sound they kinda of have like an indie pop pop punk kinda of thing to them and even a little bit of hip hop too the lead singer was like rapping in some of the songs and I don't know if you can call it rapping but it was good and I liked it and it's catchy and, it, and the album itself has a good message that's another thing I like a band that can put an, a message in their album and not make it sound contrived or forced or try to be like, it's gonna be alright, every single fucking song. Like, there's bands that do that, and I can't stand it. But these guys, they did it, they balanced this album out really, really well. Now, there's only eight tracks, and there's two songs that I really don't feel, they kind of film, they kind of sound like filler songs, kind of. But other than that, I really, really like the mini-album, EP, whatever. And I like, I like it, and I'm a fan of this band now. And I can't wait to hear more new stuff from them. I'm currently listening to their acoustic EP and their um, their first album. I think it was called Truly Yours. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, that's it. I, gave, I give the mini album, EP, whatever you want to call it, a 5 out of 5. Really enjoyable despite the two songs I didn't like. Okay, what's next? Um, all right. The next thing I want to talk about is a single from a band that I really, really like, and they are called Ashes to Angels. They have a new song, single, video, called Dorian. Now, this song is awesome. Like, fucking fuck, man. This is fucking awesome. It instantly reminds me of AFI and their punk days, and if a band can do that today, gold for me, man. Just fucking gold. It's really hard not to listen to this thing 20 times over because that's all I've been doing. It's to the point where I had to rip it off of YouTube and put it on my iPhone and listen to it wherever I go now. But I'm still buying the single when it comes out, July 15th. Product placement. But anyway, um, what else can I say about this? It's they. It, it doesn't feel like a new sound or anything. It just... It feels like a new band altogether. It feels like, you know, they took a break for a couple months, came in, and wrote their fucking hearts out. And they have an album coming out August 26th, I believe. But this is this is obviously the first single from the album. And it ju I just feel like this song being the precursor to the album, I think it just means I'm going to fall in love with this album, just like I did the first one. It just, it just has such, like, a power to it really feels like this album's going to be one of their like landmark albums of their career and i can't wait to hear more so five stars for the single all fucking around video single anything even the artwork i like a lot uh, i'm pretty sure i'll put that somewhere in here if i ever figure out how to do that um but yeah if you like music that can bring you back to the punk days of afi the nightmare anatomy days of aiden and even a little bit of I Am Ghost in there, you will love Ashes to Angels. I'll include a link to their Facebook page and to the video Dorian just so you can get a quick listen to what you're getting yourself into. Okay, next is Daft Punk, and they just released a 10-minute remix of their song Get Lucky featuring Pharrell Williams. Now, we all know they released an album in May, Random Access Memories, and a lot of people loved it, a lot of people hated it, a lot of people loved it, and then kinda hated it, or just stopped listening to it after a while. I'm kinda in the middle. I like the album, I think it's good, it's different, it's cool for them to do what they did with the album, but it got very boring for me. Might have been because I was listening to it 24-7, I smoked my lungs to death while listening to it, but, you know, it just got very boring after a while. Like, it has a lot of soul, but it doesn't have soul. Like, 
it doesn't keep the listener, well, at least me and a couple other people I know, it doesn't keep them interested in the album, unfortunately. But anyway, the single, the remix, it's ten minutes long, and I guess I missed the interview where they stated that basically all the remixes are going to be like extended mixes of the song. And uh, I guess I really should have read that or... I really should have looked that up before I heard this because I was expecting, like, Discovery Daft Punk mixed with Random Access Memories Daft Punk for these remixes that they're doing. And I guess that kind of, like, led me off a little bit. But, you know, it's good. It's just, it's boring. I'm sorry. It's really boring. I can't listen to, I think I listened to the entire thing, like, three times. And the other times I just listened to like the first five minutes and I went over to something else. It just, it doesn't keep my interest. Like, I can listen to Discovery on repeat all day. Beautiful album, has a lot of high energy to it. And this remix kind of falls short where the album eventually fell short. It doesn't really keep the listener wanting to listen to it more. And I'm sorry if I insult any of like, you know, the Daft Punk fan base or whatever. Don't get me wrong, I love Daft Punk. They make great fucking music and... Like I said, the new album was great. I just kind of killed it, and it kind of just fell off for me. But, yeah. Um, I don't know when that's coming out, but you can uh, stream it on Spotify. Just search, just search Daft Punk, and you'll probably find it. And those are the three reviews I have for this video. I promise I'm going to try and get more reviews up soon. Um, I'm doing one for Obscure Pleasures. I'm doing one for Ashes to Angels, this first album. I'm doing one for uh, my friend's. A Verbal Equinox's album, I'm doing all those, and I'm trying to get those up by at least before July ends, because I'm just trying to get them really, like, cool and perfect and shit, I guess. So, yeah, stay with me here. I hope you liked the review, hope I didn't anger anybody with my opinion, and uh, hope you check out Ashes to Angels, um, hope you like them if you do, please comment, let me know, and yeah, I'll have more videos up soon. Thank you very much.